Okay guys, so yes, we finally got this Pokemon hatched, and uh, this Pokemon happened to be a Reef. <laughs> yeah, so we were trying to get this Pokemon nice and hatched and all that stuff, and on top of that we got ourselves a, whatchamacallit, a, a call from the bike shop. Yes, we've advertised by just going up and down Goldenrod, so yes, we did our job. So I'll be right back with you after, you know, seeing what this Pokemon has. Okay, guys, so here we are back in Goldenrod City, and, uh, well, that Mareep that we just hatched didn't have anything uh, too special. It was just, you know, one of them random occasions where you actually get to breed a Pokemon right there. So anywho, what we're going to do in this episode right here is we're going to be doing a little bit of training. Gonna be doing a little bit of exploring and all that crud, and then from there, you know, we'll see what happens. I do have a Pokemon in mind to actually capture later on, and, uh, you guys are gonna not- Well, you guys might be impressed, might be uh, surprised, might not be surprised. Now, this individual right here will be giving you a Spiro with mail on it. That way, you can actually deliver it to his friends. By the end of this episode, I will show you guys the little method that you can do in order to get the- Well- in order to get to his friend. So let's move on right here first and start battling everybody else we can actually find. And well, if I can get through the door, that would be awesome. So here we are in round 35. And well, let's see. Let's go start off with Togapri first. And well, let's not do that. And let's go right ahead and start battling right here. So, let's see who our victim is. Are you going to the gym? Me too! Well, it's been a while since I've been to a, an actual gym, but let's go right ahead and start battling Picnicker Kim. She will have herself a Vulpix, and well, extra sensory all the way. And just like that, we have defeated Picnicker Kim. Unfortunately, Togepri, yes, she or he or I don't know what the gender is, yes. It, 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 it's not happy right now, and what we're going to do is crap baskets on a crapsicle stick. Yeah, I am mean, not going to use that heal powder, even though it can help my uh, Togepi right now because, well, happiness. We need this Pokemon to be happy. Very, very happy. So, the next Pokemon we're going to go to is going to be Lucky. I kind of want to do. I kind of want to evolve Lucky in this episode, too. And our mother has called us, and she's like, Hello! Oh, hi, Draven. How are you? Found a useful item while shopping. Sorry, I bought it with your money. So, yes, we got to. Go back to the department store in order, in order to get that. Now, I am hoping that she gives me an item that is worth using because, well, <laughs> your boy needs a, your boy needs more than just one thing. And, well, I'm gonna show my girlfriend all my hot stuff. Yeah, that's not gonna happen at all. So, let's go right ahead and take on Camper Elliot. He's gonna be coming out with a sand true. So, just like that, water gun, water gun, and just like that. He's going to be coming out with a Meryl, so let's go straight for to uh, Fluffolt right here. And go straight for a Thundershock, and there goes Fluffolt at level 30. Now it's learning Cotton Spore. This move is a very good move when it comes to, you know, making the Pokemon is super slow. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to actually take away Tackle Attack for the time being and just be strategic about it. And bam. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and take on the next trainer right here. My boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Damn. Yeah, she is not happy about this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and take on this Pikachu. And, well, here's a Mud Sport. Yes, electricity uh, moves has fallen. And, well, there we go. Water Gun Attack. Headbutt Attack. Jesus, Criminy. Okay, we're not hitting this Pokemon. And just like that, Lucky grows a level 18. Yes. Alright, you know what? This is going to be the episode where we evolve good old buddy Lucky. I've been getting into Pokemon or Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. You think or you know? I do not know. So here we go, taking on Ky Camper Ivan. And he is going to be coming out with a Diglett. And well, let's go right ahead and go with Type Advantages right there. And here comes a Zubat, so let's go right here with Fluffbolt right now, and Cotton Spore will slow this Pokemon down, and just like that, yes. Coming out with another Pokemon, so let's give Hercules a little bit of love, and give him an Aerial Ace for the win. There you go. Okay. Yes, we are still trying to evolve our Wooper right here, so yes, this guy is going to be coming out with some pretty good moves. Let's go, and this is awesome, because he, he does have Electric-type Pokemon, and they're all going to grow... They're all going to grow by like four levels at least. So there we go. 
Come on. Mudshot for the win. And again, Mudshot for the win. Hopefully he doesn't hit us with the... Oh yeah, he didn't. And just like that, Lucky grows to level 18. This is awesome. And you're the best I've ever battled. Okay, so let's go right ahead and get his phone number. Just, uh, just for this right here. Okay, so... Who's next? I don't know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon right here. Because, yeah, we got another Pokemon challenger. He's going to have some pretty good Pokemon. So, let's get lucky right up there. And, well... Let's go right ahead and take on this guy. He's going to be like... Hmm... I'm practicing my fire breathing. Very obvious. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and take on Fire Breather Walt, and he's coming out with a Magmar, so this is going to be interesting. The Water Gun, the Mud Shot, and nearly defeat this guy right here, so we're both, yeah, we're both uh, blinded, and well, he's coming out with a, he's going to be learning Mud Bomb right here, so let's see what this Mud Bomb does. So, let's see. The user launches a hard-packed Mud Ball to the attack, and may also lower the target's accuracy, so let's see, what does Mud Shot do? So I guess it's a step above from what we have right now, so let's go right ahead and switch that move. Unfortunately, right now we're burnt, so yeah, we, we, we kind of need to be careful with this one right here. So he's going to be coming out with another Magmar, so let's go right ahead, take our chances, Mud Bomb. And yes, we have fainted. Good gravy. Okay, so let's go with Hercules. And Aerial Ace for the win. Of course, we get burnt. And <laughs> yeah, okay. That really doesn't make, that really doesn't sit well with me. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be healing up our Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back and well, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. Now remember, when you're taking on cops, yes, they will only battle you at night because uh, apparently you can't see them or you can, they can't see you at night. So here we go, taking on a Growlithe and a cop. And well, luckily for us. This is good training for our Lucky. That way he can actually get to uh, well, its final level right here. And he's going to be coming out with another another Growlithe. So let's go straight for another Water Gun attack and Mud Bomb. And just like that, we have defeated uh, Dirk. So before we go in, well, before we go into the bug catching area right here, we're going to be going into this area. And there's going to be some more trainers that you can actually battle. This guy's going to be looking at you. He's like, I'll go anywhere if bug Pokemon appear there. You don't say. Okay, so let's go right ahead, take on our trainers right here, and yes, we're getting our butts kicked by uh, status effects right here. And just like that, Lucky has grown to level 20. Arnie has been defeated. Uh, obviously, this is not Arnie from Arnold Schwarzenegger. And bam, Lucky is finally evolving. Now, we've been waiting for this for quite some time, guys. As many of you guys already know, Lucky happens to be one of our favorite Pokemon of all time, but unfortunately, he keeps on getting the, you know, the shaft because, well, we keep on switching him out for some better Pokemon. But, if you guys have watched my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough, you guys have already seen how how useful it is when it came to taking on the, when it, when it came to taking on uh, the Dragon-type trainer. So, let's go right ahead and... Let's go right ahead and not do that. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Quagsire. And you can't use that right there. You can hit... Oh, wow, seriously. You can't hit but the, the kid. So here we go. Lucky, the Quagsire. It's proud of its power. Yes, it's poisoned right now. And, well, as you guys can see, it does have the Damp ability, which prevents combatants from self-destructing. That's pretty good. And, well... Nothing really changes in, in, in its stats except for the fact that, you know, it's special attack, it's not really the best, but it's physical, it is. Yes. Anywho, I think we need to give it an item before it starts fainting. Uh, let's see, do we have an item right here? I think so. Yes, we do. Let's give it the heal potion, or the heal powder, since it's not a Pokemon that, you know, likes us or anything like that. <laughs> Okay, so let's go right ahead, switch in our Pokemon. Let's go straight back to Togepi because it needs some love right here, too. And, well, while we're on the way, yes, there is an item right here waiting for us. Grab this little sucker, and yes, we have found ourselves a paralysis heal. And, well, let's go right down, and, well, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon now. Here's something you can find these Pokemon Nidoran male and female. 
these Pokemon, obviously, another another good combination of Pokemon that you can actually find. And well, need a rant female. It's looking uh, it's looking pretty tough right now, but here comes an extra sensory attack, and that right there takes away Nidoran female, yes. And well Togepi. Rosa level 17. This is good. This is fantastic. And would you look at that, guys? Togepi is finally evolving. Not gonna lie, I went straight to the haircut place again. I did change the day, and yes, we did get Togepi to be happy. And well, look at this, guys. We finally have evolved our Togepi into Togetic. And the funny thing is, in this walkthrough, or in this game, you can actually evolve it into Toga... I think Togekiss. Yes, Togekiss at the, at the very end. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Togetic. Or Togepi. As you guys can see, hatched a few days ago. And well, yes. Physical attack, not the best. Speed is always good. And, uh, well... Serene Grace, it boosts its likelihood of added effects appearing, which is crazy. Anywho, that's two Pokemon that got evolved. Let's go right ahead... Hmm... Let's give Hercules love, too. Yes, spread the love, guys. Spread the love, and, well... We're gonna get attacked by another Pokemon. This... Happens to be an Abra, and believe it or not, guys, off screen, I did capture myself an Abra, so don't worry, it was a female. I did use the fastball that I was given as a prize uh, for the Slowpoke well, so don't worry about that. And well, here we have this guy, Nidoran Male. Now, <laughs> as many of you guys already know, I did use Nidoran Mail on quite a few occasions when it came to, you know, Pokemon, uh, my original versions when I first started up again. And, yes, I am thinking of using Nidoran Mail right here in Pokemon Soul Silver or Heart Gold Soul Silver. That way, we can have a very diverse team, plus, we need a poison type Pokemon that can actually hurt. And, well, <laughs> we're gonna have to find another one because, yes, it fainted. Holy crap, baskets. So, yeah. Let's get attacked again by another Pokemon. And no, that's not the Pokemon we need. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna get this Nidoran male. Okay, guys, so yes, we found ourselves another Nidoran male. Funny thing is, too, guys, I did farm myself some yellow apricorns in order to get a Moon Ball right here. Now, if you guys don't know what a Moon Ball is, it's a Pokeball catching for po or is a Pokeball for catching Pokemon that evolve using a Moonstone. Yes, Nidoran male and female do evolve with this kind of, uh, with a Moonstone. So, we're just gonna throw that Pokeball at him. And, just like that, guys, throwing out the peace sign, we get ourselves Nidoran male. Now, I know many of you guys are cra uh, thinking I'm crazy. You already got a you already got a very nice team going on. Why are you adding this guy? Again, guys, we're not gonna be using every single one of these Pokemon. We're gonna be using uh well we're gonna be you know switching it up, making sure that you know eventually towards the very end I, I have a nice collective group as you guys can see. Nidoran male, the poison pin Pokemon. It is small, but its horn is filled with poison. It charges, then stabs with the horn and injected poison. And as many of you guys already know. We're gonna bequeath the name Thrasher, and believe it or not, guys, off screen I did capture myself Smasher. So yeah, we're gonna. You, you know I'm serious when I'm capturing all these Pokemon and I'm putting them in the the daycare center. That way, you know, that way they can actually uh, get some levels up. You know, get some uh, experience, and then you know might be using might be used on our team. So there it is, Smasher. So. We're gonna come back, guys. We're gonna put them back into our on our team, and well, we're gonna continue on our adventure right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so here we are back, guys, and well, we finally got the Pokemon we needed, and that is Thrasher. As you guys can see, Thrasher, level 12, does have an a rash nature right here, which will affect a special attack and its uh, special defense right here. But the ability that I need is a, is Poison Point. As you guys can see, contact with this Pokemon may poison the foe. This could come into handy when it comes to strategy and all that stuff. The other part too is it does have Double Kick. So right here, we're actually you know we're, we're actually in a in a good seat in a, in getting a, a nice victory against a Mill Tank. So what's going to happen next? 
is we're going to be battling this Pokemon trainer. And hopefully, you know, good old uh, Thrasher right here will actually help us out with, the, with a little bit of a victory. Now, some of you guys may be wondering, okay, how in the heck are you going to get a Moonstone? Well... We're gonna have to wait until we get the until we get the surf technique in order to get the moonstone right here. But as you guys can tell, we're gonna try and power up our good old buddy Thrash right here. And well, right now we're just being strategic and we're getting sand attack like nobody's business. And there we go, another critical hit. Come on, come on. Yeah, we are not hitting this Pokemon right here. So. What we're going to do is we're going to go straight to Fluffolt, and we're going to be going straight for a Thundershock attack, and, well, let's go back for Thrasher. Now, obviously, our Pokemon is not strong enough to defeat these Pokemon right now, but getting it to, uh, getting it to Nidorino as soon as possible will actually help us for the next battle, the next, the next gym battle, I should say. So there we go, we had defeated this, uh, this Pokemon trainer, and what we need to do now is grab ourselves the TM66 Payback. This is a very good move when it comes to taking damage just like, you know, Nidorino right here, or Nidoran right here. So, let's see. We're going to heal up our Pokemon real quick, and then from there, we're going to, you know, go straight into the book catching area where we can actually see the book catching contest and all that stuff. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are in front of the book catching contest, and uh, we're not doing this. As you guys can see, this is the National Park, and they've added an extra thing right here in the National Park, and that is the Pokathlon Dome. We will be checking that out a little bit later on, but right now, the Poke Pokemon contest today is Thursday. That means the Pokemon book catching contest is today. Which, uh, you know, we will be doing in the next episode because, well, right now, yeah. Kind of just trying to train for Pokemon right here. And, well, here it is, guys. The National Park. This place, you can actually find two rare items. One being this person right here talking to her. Pay attention, please. Oops. I have to quit thinking like I'm a teacher all the time. You must be a trainer. Since you're working so hard, I want you to have this. We grabbed ourselves the Quick Claw, which can actually help slow Pokemon. That will come in handy. The next thing is an item hidden, well hidden right here, but the big, big part right here is we're going to be battling some trainers as well because, yeah, monies is needed, experience is needed. We have evolved two Pokemon. Let's make it a record of three. So here we go. The world is deep. There are still lots of things we don't know, but I know more than you do. Are you sure about that? Okay, so here we go, taking on School Kid Jack, and he's coming out with an Oddish. So let's let's make it easy on ourselves with Peck Attacks right here, and that will grow Thrasher to level 13. So let's see, Poison Sting is coming up. I'm gonna keep the same move set that I have right now because I don't really need Poison Sting since I already have Poison Point. And well, let's go ahead and keep the old moves. And he's coming out with a Voltorb, so let's go with a Focus Energy. And that right there poisons its Pokemon, but yeah, Thrasher is not going to be able to do anything right here. So let's go with Lucky and go with a Mud Bomb. And just like that, we have defeated another trainer. <laughs> yeah, who, who, yeah, who, who, who ever said that training Pokemon was easy? And here we have another Pokemon, or another trainer's phone number right there. So that right there can actually help us out. And... Okay, so let's see. Our Pokemon needs needs some healing, so let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's see, Super Potion. We don't have that much, so we better be we better be cool with it. We got three more levels, so let's go right ahead and take your business right here. The National Park looking beautiful as uh, as ever. And the funny thing is that you will find more uh, well, you'll find rare Pokemon when you're doing a National Park uh, challenge. So. Just keep an eye out for that. And, well, here we are taking on Pokefan Beverly. She's coming out with a Snubble, so this should be an easy battle for us, hopefully. Nope. And our attack has fallen harshly, so yes, we... <laughs> yeah, we're not going to be really... We're not going to be doing a lot of stuff against this Pokemon trainer, but look at this. Thrasher grows to level 14. And we get some more monies right there. And yes, every single one of these trainers want our numbers, but I think we're going to have to get rid of some just because there's some more important Pokemon trainers out there. And well, let's see. Talk to this one. Only one Pokemon can stroll with you in a, in a Pokewalker. I can't decide which one. If you guys don't know, Pokewalker was basically like a prelude to Pokemon, uh, what was it called? Pokemon Go, 
where you can walk wherever you can go with the Pokemon and battle with it. I had I had a Pokewalker with me, but unfortunately, I think I lost it and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and take on some other Pokemon trainers right here. Now, believe it or not, with the Pokewalker, you can actually get you get yourself some rare items and stuff. And uh, I do believe there was, like, some kind of a... Like, I don't know if they actually had a Pokemon that evolved through a Pokewalker. If they did, then that was a messed up concept because Pokewalker was never going to last. And, well, here we have a Raichu. And, well, yes, we're taking on the Raichu, making Raichu uh, regret all that stuff. And, well, let's continue right here. Still trying to evolve our good old buddy Thrasher right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and take this later on. Let's see what you got. Hello? Why are you staring at me? Oh, I don't know. Probably because we want to battle, so let's go right ahead and go straight for a pack attack. And just like that, Thrasher grows a level 15. Let's go ahead and stay over with the Cubone and switch it out with Lucky right here. And, well, let's go with the Mud Bomb. And Water Gun Attack for the win. And just like that, we have defeated our next trainer. And, well, let's go right ahead and get some phone numbers right there, too. <laughs> Wow, okay. So, there is another rare item right here, guys. All you need to do right here... Actually, first, let's see, I may not look like it, but I do have uh, many Pokewalkers on me. They make loud noises as I walk. Maybe uh, taking a stroll isn't easy as I thought. <laughs> Again, Pokewalkers are pretty awesome. Now, I think... Yes, okay, so if you talk to this guy... Been running, trying... Okay, they're talking about the Pokewalkers. Now, if you go right here, you will be able to find some uh, rare items. There's one thing that's been added, and that is Rock Climb. Unfortunately, we don't have that, so we're going to have to wait a while before we get that item. Here we have this, the Soothe Bell, which many of you guys already know. The Soothe Bell actually, um, well, it actually makes a Pokemon a little bit more friendly, so it's a good item to actually have on a Pokemon that you want to evolve through friendship. And uh, thankfully, we didn't need it because, of course, we already evolved our, our, Toga, our Togepi into Togetic right here. And here we have the TM28 Dig. Yes, a very, very useful move. A very useful uh, ground-type move right here. And, well, let's see. Do I have another item? Yes, we have found ourselves a full heal. So, look at that, guys. Three good items and one more, ev uh, one more evolution pending right here. So, let's see. What's next? Oh. How about let's go outside of the let's go outside of uh, the national park and see what we can actually find right over there. So let's go right ahead and get out of here. And well, let's see. Let's go right here. And well, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's go ahead and grab this thing, another apricorn. And bam, it's a blue apricorn. So that right there will be good for a, what was it, a lure ball for any for any Pokemon that's been fishing. And let me guess what you're thinking. Let me see what the Psychic has. So let's go right ahead and take on the Psychic. His name is Mark. He does have an Abra. And I do not think this Pokemon will be able to attack, but let's see. Let's go with Togepi just in case. Yes, this Pokemon will try and uh, blind you. And that present will defeat it. So, let's see. Let's go back to Thrasher. And, of course, we're taking on a Kadabra. That Pokemon will attack, so let's go with a Flame Wheel. And that does it. Thrasher grows to level 16. And here we come out with another Abra. So let's go right ahead and continue with Cinder. And there we go. Just like that, we have defeated another Psychic. And we get our third evolution right here in this episode. And as you guys can see, we've been working at this. We're planning for a strategy here, guys. Eventually, we will have a team worthwhile like, that's worthwhile around here. And look at this. Thrasher has evolved into Nidorino. Okay, alrighty. Alright, so let's go right ahead and take a look at Nidorino right here. And look at this. Nidorino, of course, its stats have been boosted just a tad bit. Still has the poison, uh, poison point of ability. And we will be using... Uh, we will be using Thrasher in its Nidorino form in quite, for quite some time. Mainly because we don't have a Moonstone right away. Eventually, when that happens, well, we got Nidoking right there and then. And, well, here we are taking on another trainer. And let's see what this guy's all about. School Kid Allen coming out with his Tangela. 
So let's see what Thrasher can do as a Nidorino, knowing that we never really had a battle against Ulu with a Nidorino. And, well, super effective, but not that strong. So let's go with the Focus Energy and go with the Peck Attack. No, we're asleep. Yeah, this Pokemon is uh, growing its special attack. And, yeah, we need to wake up before this Pokemon beats us. So let's go right ahead and switch it out to Cinder right here. And, well, Flame Wheel for the win. And there we go. Cinder grows to level uh, 24, learning learning a Defense Curl. And, well, we're going to keep it like that. We're going to give up on the Defense Curl. So there you go. And, of course, this guy right here will be able to give you some items once he finds them along the way. Most most notably, a uh, well, an Elemental Stone. And then if you talk to this lady, she's like, I'm the flower shop, Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkle water on the wiggly tree, it jumped right up. It's just ha It just has to be a Pokemon. I bet it would be shocked out if it... Uh, shocked out of disgusting itself if you would soak it. Hmm. I don't even know what that means, but... Yeah. Anywho, guys. I think that is pretty much it right there. And, well... <laughs> I don't know what else to say, except for there is a Pokemon uh, contest right here in the National Park. So, in the next episode, depending on what day it is, because remember, I did switch the date on my computer, which affected the whole outcome of what day, uh, well, what kind of day I'm in. Depending on what it is, I will be posting up a video of the National, uh, the National Park uh, bug catching contest right here. And, uh, well... <laughs> After that, we're gonna we're gonna finish up this week with the whole battle against Whitney, and hopefully our Pokemon will be uh, no will be nice and stacked up, ready to go battle for you know, the Pokemon. Now there is one last thing that we need to do right here. This gentleman. So what we're gonna be doing? If you talk to this guy, he gets a letter from a Pokemon trainer, and of course he's talking about a guy that you know is uh, hanging around Route 31. That is near Violet City. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna exchange a Pokemon. Be back with this guy, get his Spearow, and then from there, we're going to get the item. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and, well, let's go right ahead and receive that letter from this guy. Or the Pokemon with the letter. Of course, the Pokemon with the letter is a Spearow. And, well, again, the guy is at Route 31, so we're going to have to take the whole way, uh, <laughs> the whole way, uh, the original way around in order to get to this guy, but as you guys can see, this Pokemon's already at level 20, so if you actually battle with this Pokemon right here, it can actually go in and grow into a Fero if you guys wanted to. So, what's gonna happen is that we're gonna be going all the way back down, and I'm gonna actually replace this Pokemon with somebody else, that way we can uh, keep this Kenya right here. So, I'll be back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in front of the guy that we need to mail this uh, Pokemon to, and if you talk to him, he's like, huh? Huh? I feel like reading some words on a, on a piece of paper or something. Hmm. And well, let's go right ahead and give him that Pokemon. So here's Kenya. And he's like, uh, yes, we handed the Pokemon with it. We're holding the mail, and he's like, let's see. Thank you for your mail. It was such an exciting adventure. I did not like Zubat, though. That's what it says. I went to the dark cave the other day with a friend. That cave leads to another route, by the way. I must thank you for uh, being so kind. I'd like you to get, or I'd like to uh, do something in return. And yes, we get ourselves the TM44. Do not know what this move is, but we're going to be, oh yeah, it's rest. Huh. Or the phrase "recover fast" became shortened uh, re became shortened to "rest." You see, this is the move that sleep and recover HP. Let's see. Let's see what this. Uh, let's see if this is true right here. So let's go right ahead and go straight to the H or the TM and HMs. And yes, TM44 happens to be rest. So there we go. Anywho, thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for you know. Watching the episodes, liking it, and all that stuff. Yes, I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver tomorrow. We're going to be going into the Pokemon contest, and then from there, we're going to be finishing off with a gym battle. So stay tuned, guys. I will be back for another episode. See you guys.